running? Why are you running? Hey Glowies, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to join the Glow Gang. We have so many fun events in our game center and our Roblox group. So be sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the notification bell so that you can see videos easier when they come out. And you guys loved the last video of this, so I decided to actually make a part two to Bloxburg Secrets You Didn't Know, so I'm just going to get right into it. The first secret we have is one near Pizza Planet. If you take a vehicle or just teleport there and you go out back, there are these three dumpsters and this is actually where NPCs spawn and NPCs are non-player characters. So they are the randomized sim looking people who walk around blocks. The grape juice used to be named something else that wasn't like kid friendly for Roblox or appropriate so the devs had to change it and that is why it is now called grape juice. For the next secret you're going to want to go to the mining job and you're going to want to mine down until you get to the green and yellow speckled stone blocks. I wasn't able to show this since I was on a time constraint for the video. But basically, you're going to eventually find this family or like group of noobs that are playing the drums and it's a little fun noob band. So that's just a fun thing if you're really bored and want to do something with friends. The next thing you may the next thing you may not have known you could have done was that you can actually keep the pickaxe in your hand after you leave the mining job so you could just run around and terrorize your friends or do whatever you may do with the pickaxe why are you running why are you running for the next one you're going to want to go up the mountain and get a hang glider and as you can see around the blocksburg map there are these bordering mountains that surround the entire area and this one takes an extremely long time and if you have low moods it will take longer. You're going to have to walk around the entire border of the map and eventually you will find this decal of a new character or Coeptus' character saying oh hi and it takes a full box per game day which is about 15 to 20 minutes or longer if your moods are slow. So again it's just something you might want to do with friends or if you're really bored I wasn't able to show it but some pictures of it will be on screen. For the next one, you're going to want to head home, and there are multiple things that you can find in your own house that you may not have known about before. The first one is that you can actually interact with your house's controls using just the mailbox. So if you want to be realistic in your roleplays, you may want to use the mailbox and not the menu. The next one you're going to head inside for and turn on your TV, and as you can see, there's actually text at the bottom of the screen and the newscaster's mouth moves. And for the third secret or little quirk you may not have known about, if you go to your fridge or you get any sort of food and then you have to place down a trash can inside your home, you cannot use just the one outside. Basically what you're going to do is take that food or whatever you can and throw it away into that trash can. And then you can actually see that the trash can fills up with trash that you can then interact with, pick up, and throw outside. Now this is something that also adds a lot of realism to roleplays, so if you want to get really detailed in what you're roleplaying, you might want to do this and take out the trash. For the next one, I head it into my storage cabinet and if you have these, you can see that the hanging decorations from like Halloween or other holidays, they actually do hang and swing around if you interact with them or touch them. They're not just one solid object and I thought that was fun because I was going through my storage room and they just hit my head and flew around so just a fun little thing to look at.
And the next one is something that Bloxburg pros or old players might enjoy, and that is actually that the sun and the moon rise and set over the ocean in front of the ferris wheel so you're going to drive to the observatory and at around 6 a.m or 7 a.m in game time you can watch the sunrise over blocksburg I hope you guys enjoyed this little secrets video and be sure to subscribe for a part three if I can find that many. And I hope you guys learned something new about Bloxburg today. Be sure to comment below if you already knew some things or some things that I did not mention. Be sure to check out part 1 if you haven't already, the video is up on my channel, and thank you for watching.